There it is, guys. The worst day in the stock market history. Or at least the Dow's. Uh, this is the SPXL, the Triple Volatility S&P, and uh, closed at 22.41. A few weeks ago, it was at 63, so that's down about a, to a third of what it was then. And uh, this is the, give them credit, this is the TC2000 by the Warden Brothers. Highly recommend it. You can see the curves you can get. You make all these settings, put all these curves in it. It gives you a nice display. And you can export your data by right-clicking and hitting export data. And tell them where you can save it. And then it'll export your data here. Well, anyway, I wanted to show you the... Mr. Foyer's interpretation. There we go. That is the Foyer discrete Foyer transform of the stock prices. Here's that 22.41 and the stock market moves in waves and uh, wouldn't like Mr. Foyer just love to be here now to see that. Wow. Uh, but uh, there's the price action. The price at any one time is the sum of the waves at that time. So here we reached a peak of that, the largest uh, amplitude. The black line is the price. The maroon line here is the the maroon line is the average of all the waves. And since the sum the price is the sum of those uh, of the waves, so uh, you can see that that follows uh, the price exactly. Uh, in peaks and in dips. Now, can you see in this, can you see this big red wave in the price action? Well, you can. You can see here the price dipped and here it uh, is coming up. Now, here the, uh, the price went up and uh, the uh, sine wave the big sine wave is in a dip now right now at this time here are the amplitudes of the sine waves now these change as the uh, as with time so uh, i'd have to put another graph on to show you what the sine wave amplitudes were at this time but uh as you can see right now, we've reached a, pretty much a minimum in the largest uh, amplitude wave. And, uh, and you can see that the next largest amplitude here is about half of the red one. So that means the red right now is the dominant wave. And that's see here when we reach the low for the day. Well, that typically happens that we reach the low or the high for the day at 4 o'clock. And you wonder why, but uh, it happened, and here we reached a peak. So that suggests a way to play the market would be to play the high and the low of the red, the largest amplitude side wave. And it usually, if the if it is the dominant way, but sometimes that second wave will come up close to the same amplitude, in which case you need to watch it also. For instance, right here, we can see that the red wave is down and the price has been coming down. Okay? The price of the red, uh, the red wave, the value of the red wave is coming up and the 
uh, price of the the actual stock price is still coming down or peaked at. It reached a low right here. Now here it does seem like the price picked up the side the main red wave and it's followed it up. But what's this? The red wave's going up and we reach a peak and it comes back down. Well that's that wave. So you have to watch at least the second largest wave and see what it's doing. Now did you predict that peak? Well, you can see that right here, the average peaked out. So if you were just adding the big wave and that one together, you would see that. Anyway, that's the uh, video for today of the stock prices of Mr. Fourier's point of view of it. And, uh, but here you can see there's a glimmer of hope for tomorrow. And what goes down must come up, and tomorrow it's going to be coming up by this wave. So, should have bought. It could go up as much as... Uh, what went what went up went down today when we reached this peak. So that peak is at what? That peak is at twenty six dollars, and this low is at twenty two. So we could go up four dollars tomorrow easily, just by the uh, four year analysis. So that. Uh, concludes this video of to the worst day in history on the stocks from uh, Mr. Fourier's viewpoint.